Most of you know that I'm a Mexican. I came from Mexico. Some of you already know that I'm a, also a Canadian. But did you know that I am also an American? Well, to be more precise, I am a North American. I was born and raised in the United States. So where's the accent, you may ask? Well, I was born and raised in the United States of Mexico, which is the official name for Mexico. My goal today is to try to, com to, to ensure that you understand why I consider myself an American, and why I consider most of you, if not all of you, also to be Americans. Let's start with a little bit of history. When the first European settlers came to America, they came to Brazil, they came to Mexico, they came to the United States, Argentina, Cuba. They came to America as a big continent. America named after America Vespucci, a cartographer. America as only one of the Olympic rings that represents the five continents of the world. America from Ellesmere Island in the north to Tierra del Fuego in Argentina. Most of you may have learned in school that it's really not one continent, but three continents, North America, Central America, and South America. And the teacher may have supported the fact on the three tectonic plates, North American plate, the Caribbean plate, and the South American plate. But I, they lied to you. <clears throat> if that was the case, then Northern Japan, Siberia, and Greenland mm -hmm. would be considered part of North America. Mm -hmm. And the Europe and Asia would be considered a single continent. We know that that's not the case. The continents are defined as much as geography as by geopolitics. The economic, political, and uh, relationships in between the different countries. When the United States declared their independence, for example, they did it as the 13th United States of America. That always reminds me about a Mexican intellectual that said, well, that's just a description. It's just like calling someone, hey, that friendly drunk in the corner. You need a name. That is just a description. But why did they decide to appropriate the name America for themselves? In 1823, US President James Monroe <clears throat> talked about the Monroe Doctrine, or established the Monroe Doctrine. That was meant as a way to prevent further colonization from Europe to America. And it established, in fact, the United States as a police of the hemisphere. And it was a police that nobody asked for. They just decided that they wanted to do it. And this may sound like I should start removing my tinfoil hat and forget about conspiracy theories. And that would really be the case if the doctrine wasn't very explicit. They consider that all of the American continent is their right and their interest. And here I just ask you to imagine for a moment. You want to be single. You want to be independent, and someone is pretending you, and someone else comes, someone that you may not even like, comes and say, hey man, back off, because if you keep pretending that person, I will consider it as a personal attack, 
because I will feel that you are violating my rights and my interests. How would you feel? Totally violated. All your rights have been violated. Coming from Mexico, that's how we feel about the Monroe Doctrine. And I can tell you that most of the countries in South America feel that way. Originally, this doctrine didn't apply to Canada because it was still under the control and the influence, influence of the British Empire. But eventually, it did. And the most important manifestation of this is NORA. Mm -hmm. And here I'm not making a value judgment. I am just asking you to think about the Monroe Doctrine next time that someone speaks about the NORA and how it's just a friend helping another friend. They are really a certain power over the protecting the rights and their interests in Canada as established by the Monroe Doctrine. In school, I, as many other people, learned there was one continent, America. Yes, it was subdivided in three subcontinents, but only one continent. We all are part of America. By relinquishing the name, we're also relinquishing control of our own destiny to the United States. Today, I'm inviting you to consider yourselves Americans, to take back the name, be proud Americans, and let's reclaim America for the Americans.